what's next for you and Tamago House? Um, now, did so is it strictly just your blog and newsletter right now? That's basically it. Yeah, there there is no business okay. plan with Tamago House or anything like that. And do you find it is has it been beneficial having that newsletter? Like, what are some of the benefits? Because I'm I started one, mm-hmm. um, and slowly, you know, I know it takes time. I'm not trying to have this thing kind of blow up in overnight. I don't expect yeah. it to, but I'm trying to figure out. I mean, you've had this one. What has been some of the benefits of having this new letter and how has it worked for you? I mean, the, the, I mean, the, one of the easy benefits is that it's a little bit of income depending on what platform mm-hmm. you're using. It's not a lot, it, 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 but right. it covers the cost of, of hosting it. And, uh, um, and uh, if you were to read the, the advertisements, like, oh, this is a great way to generate, uh, you know, passive income for your, for your, right whatever it is you're pursuing. The other thing is, uh, you know, I think the benefit it's for, for me with the blog is that it's, it's a little bit more honest than social. It's a lot more honest than social media. It's not gamified. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the, the, the scale of it is much smaller. So the reason I started for it was that I, a couple of years ago, I put on a landing page for Oscar Zahn, sign up here for my mailing list, which I never wrote or updated. And then I checked on it like late last year and like 800 people had signed up. Um, wow. And I was like, oh my God, like it's, I should probably do something with this, right? Because 800 people yeah. cared enough to give me their email addresses. Right. So I, I started this thing and it's just sort of a way to, um, to, I guess, connect with people mm-hmm. that might be interested in the stuff I do in a much yeah. in a hopefully more meaningful way like i'm not you don't have to click the like button you don't have to uh, uh buy anything even i'm not gonna dance for you you know we don't right. need a million right. followers right. but just uh, you know you give me your email address and by the metrics 50 percent of you open it and read it so so right. that 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 right. matters a lot more than somebody scrolling by and just mindlessly clicking like i guess right. so I think the benefits are more subtle, but maybe longer lasting. And it's pretty new for me yeah. still. So I, I don't know. It's only been four months. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Cause it's, it's long term, but I think it definitely has its upsides. And that's why I looked at also starting the one that I've started. Yeah. And it's just more for me, for me, it's more of an outlet as well. Just cause I, I share a lot of poetry yes. on there. Yeah. <clears throat> and, and so it's yeah so i have my moody mondays and that's what i put out on mondays and then wednesdays is like a a short little piece where i try to just poke fun at certain things that we take too seriously yeah i'm gonna sign up to that as soon as actually i didn't realize you had your newsletter so you have a new subscriber yeah mind mind you yours is four months mine is probably like two months Uh, like it's 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 fairly new uh, as well right what what uh, platform you're using i'm using um substack yeah i was looking into that too and so Okay. Yeah, so it's pretty simple, straightforward for me to use. That's why yeah. I jumped on it, and and it seems to be helping yeah. out. So we'll see how it yeah. goes. 